this is Hallie from River Studio Downloads. I'm here today making a quick tutorial video showing how I download my digital planner and my digital file to my iPad. Um, I want you to know I'm using Safari as my browser and I'll also be importing my planner into GoodNotes. Those are what I use, so that's what I know and that's what I teach. You can use other apps to read your planner and you can use other browsers, but this is what I do, so let's begin. Um, the screen you see right now is my download screen from Etsy. If I scroll down, you'll see the Etsy banner. So um, you would get to your Etsy files through your profile, which is the little head icon over here on the right. And you would click purchases and reviews, and it would bring you to this page. You would scroll until you find the purchase that you want to download. You would click on download files. It'll take me to all the files that came with that planner. So here we are. So the top file here is the planner access page and then over to the right side of the screen we have download i'm going to do that click on download it's going to take you to this pdf page you can scroll through this when you get a chance i have a little um, blurb there thanking you and then also an option to get a free notebook um, the video you're watching is this first link then i have written instructions telling you how you can download and then i have access to your planners um, in Google Drive. So let's go ahead and click Access to Planner. It's going to bring you to another page and these are all the options that come with this particular planner that you purchased. Please don't worry if your options look different. I do sell different planners with different options. So this is just a tutorial video explaining how you go ahead and click through all the download sections. So you would scroll through and find all your options. This one has um, eight of them, I believe, and then also 80 covers to choose from. I'm going to make a separate video um, about the 80 covers. So that will be next for you to watch to try to keep the video short. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go back up to the top here and click on this one on the right that says blush tabs Sunday start horizontal week. So what that means is the tabs around the outside are blush Sunday start. So it's the Sunday start of the month and the week and it's horizontal layout for the week, which means, you know, the sideways. If you look over to the left of that, you would have the same Sunday start, but you have a vertical week. So those are the options with this one. Um, this particular planner has blush color tabs. And then if I were to scroll further down, you have gray color tabs. So you just read through each one. You can click on each one to open it up if you need to see it closer to get an idea of what you want. So I'm going to click on this blush Sunday start horizontal week. Click here takes me here. Oh, sorry, because I was playing around before this video. That's why a couple things popped on the screen. It just was getting back to where it needed to be, I guess. So you give this a minute. You can tell it's working, obviously, those blue lines going across the top. So here we are. It's open. If you were to scroll up and down, you could see more. You still need to export it into GoodNotes or whatever app you're using. This is the most important step. A lot of people think, oh, here it is. I can use it. You can't. The hyperlinks won't work yet. So you must do this step. Um, up in the right corner of the iPad, there's an icon that looks like three little dots. I'm going to click on that. It brings this drop down window. If you look down, you can look to find open in. It looks like four little arrows pointing in all the directions. It's about right in the middle. I'm going to click on it. It says it's preparing this file for exporting, which is exactly what we want to do. It's going to give me another window here in a second asking me where I would like to export it. Here it is. So what you would do, um, you can get to your app a couple ways. So these little icons that are colored are the icons that go with the different apps on your iPad, or there's a list and you can scroll up and down on this little list if your list is a lot longer. So I'm going to GoodNotes, so I'm clicking on GoodNotes. So it's going to open my GoodNotes page. And now it's going to ask if I would like to import it as new. I do, so down here at the bottom, I'm clicking on this blue bar, import as new. And then this little window pops up in the middle of your screen and it just lets you know that it's um, importing the document. And this takes a few minutes and it all depends on um, how much you have stored on your iPad, how fast it is, all those good things. So um, you have to give it a minute. Once it's completely imported, it'll pop up on the screen. And then I'm gonna go back to the downloads from Etsy in just a minute here and show you how you would put those other files onto your iPad. 
And then I do have other tutorial videos that come with the planner that explain how to um, import those planner pages and stickers. And then, like I said, there's going to be a video on showing you how you would put a cover on your planner. So it's almost done. You get this little blue line all the way across. You get a little white check in the middle. And it's still working. <clears throat> if you can see, it just popped a picture of the planner on the page. And it's still going. It'll pop up the planner as soon as it's done. It looks like it's done, and then you try doing anything, and it won't allow you. See the little cloud came back with the spinny circle. There we are. Now it's done. So you want to turn off the pen mode. I don't know why sometimes it pops in and turns on my pen mode, and sometimes it doesn't. So up in the right corner, the second icon in, it looks like the Apple Pencil or pen with a line slash through it. Click on that and it turns it back to the pen with the like swishy circle around it. That's what you want it in to do this next step. So we're going to leave it open because um, in order to put a planner cover in, that's what you would have to do, but you're gonna watch that in the next video. Right now I'm going back to that Etsy file um, page to show you what you would do next with those other files. So I'm clicking my home button, then I'm gonna go down here to my Safari browser. I'm gonna go up here to the right to my multiple pages. I'm going to this Etsy download page just to show you what you would do next. If you have a hard time getting back to your pages, all you have to do is get back to Etsy, either sign in, you know, close things down, and then this page will always be here with your downloads available on it. So you can get to it a multiple you know, ways. You can back button all the way to it, or you can just um, close out and get back to it. So let's go ahead and click on digital sticker file first. It's the second file down and I'm clicking on the right side that says downloads. It's going to take a second in the middle of the screen. It says, do I want to download? Yes, I do. So I'm clicking on the blue download. It just takes a second. Um, the way you can tell it's working, I think it's kind of hard to tell on the iPad, but if you go back up to those icons in the right corner, the fourth one in is a circle with an arrow pointing down. If you keep your eye on that, after I hit the downloads, I'm going to the next file, the number two digital stickers. I'm clicking on download. After I click this blue download, if you watch that circle with the blue arrow pointing down, it'll do this like little jump. That means it's done. So that's how quick it is. I'm going to the next download, the last one here. This particular planner comes with um, a free Christmas bundle. So I'm clicking on that. These um, bundles all work the same way if you buy any extra page bundles from my shop. So let me just show you how you would do this and that's already done. So now once you have these all up in your um, downloads, you can click on that circle with the blue arrow pointing down back up here in the right corner. And it's going to show, um, just ignore the three extra ones because I did it earlier before I did this video, but it just shows you here's all your um, files you just downloaded and you'll have to unzip them. I usually wait and just unzip them once I get over to my app. You can do it either way. If you click on them, they'll start to unzip. So um, now I'm going to show you real quick how you would just put those in quickly. I do have a better video about it, but let me go back. I'm going to double click my home button. I'm going to click on the bottom here on my GoodNotes 5 app. It's going to open up this planner. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and click on over here on the right screen under stickers. I'm going to click on that number one. It's going to take me to my first section that I can add items into. Um, this is where you would put a title for the types of pages or whatever you wanted to title this section. And then you would click on your title and it'll bring you to the first blank page. So let me show you real quick on um, those two files that or a couple of the files that we just download, how you would add those. So I'm taking my finger and I'm sliding up from the bottom of my screen and I'm going to do that whole split screen thing. I just learned how to do this and I like it better than inserting it through the iPad, but you can do that and I do show how in other videos. So once this little um, window pops up, if you hold down on the blue file and go over to the right side of your screen, it then divides your screen for you. Now you have the option of two screens. Um, up here at the top, it says downloads with a back arrow. I'm going to click on that arrow just for an example to show you what's possible. So if you click it all the way, and get to the point where the arrow disappears. It gives you this page. It's asking you where you want to go for your files. I usually just do recent. It's easier to find that way unless you know, unless you're very organized and you know what you're doing. Um, and then what we need to do is we need to unzip these three top files that we just downloaded. So I'm clicking on the Christmas bundle. It just takes a second. It's already done. Then I'm going to click on the um, digital stickers number two. I'll just do one of the sticker files really quick to show you because I do have that other video. 
So it takes a second. The, because I give you so many stickers um, with this planner, there's over a thousand, you do have to open it again. So here we are, it gives you three different choices. It takes another second. So like there's 76 items in here, it's already done. So let's go ahead and put a sticker on first since we're here. So you would click on that sticker file that you want to open. It opens it. Now I can scroll up and down and choose whatever sticker, you know, look at them all and choose what stickers I would like. And that's um, where the whole sticker page comes into play. That's all explained in the other video. So let's say we're just gonna do this good job sticker. Once you find the sticker you want, you put your finger on it and you slide, you can do it with your Apple Pencil too. You slide over to the blank part and you let go and there's your sticker, that's how easy it is. So um, then you can resize it, then once you have it in your planner, you can copy and paste it to move it to other pages, whatever you wanna do. So let's go back, I'm going back to those Christmas pages now and I'll just show you how we add one of those real quick. So I'm clicking on this Christmas bundle, it's the second blue file down. And I'm going to click on the, I'm going to push on the top one just like I did with my sticker, drag it over to my blank area. It's going to pop it in. Obviously, it's a lot smaller than you would want, but this is the part where you would just go ahead and play with it and make it as big as you want. So let me get rid of my split screen. You do that by sliding over to the right. Took me a little while to figure that out, but here's one of those custom pages. So then you just play with it, you make it as big as you want, and that's it. So you watch those other videos if you want to learn more about adding in these custom pages and stickers. And also watch the next video about adding in the planner cover to your planner. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, just message me on Etsy. I'm always here to help.